It is about to get windy and a little colder here in Alaska. It's Friday right now and on Monday and Tuesday night, I think the nighttime temperatures are supposed to be in the late teens, but I'm just gonna pretend that that's not happening. <laughs> I'll show you how my kale and sweet peas are doing out there. I think they're good. Last I checked on them, they were doing just fine. And they're under a frost blanket within the high tunnel. The door to the high tunnel still doesn't close, so it's pretty much like they're exposed to that cold weather. The good thing is, is just that they're on the ground and not on top of snow. I think I'm still gonna go ahead and put my anemone out. I have my tea trays that I've been hardening off outside for the past few days, just leaving them out for several hours to experience the cold, to experience the wind, to experience the sunlight. Um, and get slowly get them used to it before I like get them planted out. Where I'll be putting it out, I'll have it underneath a low tunnel, underneath my high tunnel. <laughs> so within that like tunnel section, a tunnel within a tunnel, they'll be a little bit more protected than just being out. But it's still a little bit risky because it is getting so cold. I maybe should be waiting until after Tuesday to get these out, but I am so desperate for more space inside here and I, I am like getting them outside during the day at least but at nighttime it just gets so crowded within the kitchen and every night that I overcrowd this kitchen <laughs> full of like my plant starts I just risk more and more that something's gonna get knocked over and ruined or like you know the dog's tail is always wagging and he's always coming in and out so I just want to get it like out of mind, <laughs> like into the ground so that it can start growing. And like, just look at those roots. They're ready. <laughs> they are ready to go out. Not all of my corms are. I'm not putting out the ranunculus just yet. Those are always a little bit slower to sprout. Um, and I have some other anemone corms that have been a little bit slower too. I'm not sure why. These are corms that I purchased this year. The other ones that are slower are my own that I saved. So maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not storing them correctly. Maybe, I don't know, I should just start taking my own ones out a little bit sooner. This year I was a little bit late. Whatever. So that's what I'm doing today. I thought I'd bring you along. I'm just going to go ahead and set up that low tunnel with the fiberglass hoops. I did the same thing last year. I have a video on that as well. And then see how much I can get planted out. Okay, I should get to it before it gets any darker outside.
So here's the anemones all planted in. It's not much, it doesn't look like much right now, but it's gonna fill out. <laughs> I planted them pretty close together, but I've done that in the past and it all seems fine. And I'll just tuck it in under the blanket for tonight. I'll check up on them again tomorrow. Tonight it's not supposed to be so bad, but the night after that it's gonna get really cold. So I am just gonna cross my fingers and hope they do well. Okay, that is one tray of my anemones done in the ground. First thing I got in the ground this year. Really nice to do that. Really nice just to get like dirt on my hands again, you know, put my hands in the dirt. I am not gonna show you because there is so much dirt under my fingernails, it's gross. But I don't know, it feels really good. <laughs> Anyways, I've been doing a ton more plant chores inside. I'm just not really showing it on camera because it's boring. It's a lot of seed starting for things. Like today I just got done. I have them all here. Some uh, pak choy, some sa uh, lettuce, and some spinach. Doing a lot of potting up of everything that I started from before. And that honestly takes up so much time and also just makes me anxious because I don't have space and I'm trying to find space. Um, a lot of my plants are hardening off outside. Hey Brendan, can you help me with something? Sure. Um, no, you might want to dry it off first. I'm good. Um, and for the rest of the day, I am just gonna try and clean up outside. So now that some of the snow is melted, some of the mess that I left on my deck, on my porch, in the backyard is starting to be exposed. And we are gonna have high, we have like a weather advisory for high wind um, tomorrow, starting tomorrow morning for the next couple of days. So that, yeah, I am just worried that it's gonna cause like such a ruckus and such a mess and I don't want any of my neighbors to be mad at me, so I want to clean up as much as I can. And I think that's all for me for today. A lot of things that I have still yet to do, but I'll leave that for another day. Um, so I'll just leave you with that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.